So, hello and good morning, guys, and welcome back to another Vlogmas 2023 at D and J Projects, episode number two or number two Vlogmas, whatever you want to call it, guys. If you can subscribe to the channel, we'd appreciate it. Like the video because that costs nothing, as Dad says, and comment down below. Yesterday's video was around about 40 minutes long. Don't expect them to be that long all the time. Dad just absolutely killed it with his filming. Me and Scott did around about 13, 14 minutes. I dare say they're gonna be between 20 to 30 minutes on average, if he was averaging it out. But if we can do them at 40 minutes every time, we probably will, but it's gonna be a bit harder. So it's a little bit longer to edit at night as well. Yesterday, you followed my dad first, Today, you're gonna to follow up me and Scott first so you can see a bit more of the fencing. We've got some materials on deck. It's still raining, won't stop raining. Floods everywhere. I've heard on the radio that the road where we're going might be flooded, hopefully not. We do not want that, guys. Once we've got to a job site, we're gonna take you along for the ride, show you what we did in the light, because it was dark when we finished, and we'll catch up with Dad a little bit later today, guys. But let's get to job site. So this is what we tried to show you yesterday, but obviously it was um, it was dark, guys. You know what, mate? I'm actually happy with the progress we made yesterday. It's, it's all good, but uh, I'm happy with the progress we made. Obviously, you can see we've gone lower bay, taller bay, that way. Lower bay, lower bay, taller bay, that way. Lower, lower, taller, that way. And obviously this will return down here. I'm really happy with the progress we made. Of course, we've got to get this down today. That takes up a little bit of time but that's not bad. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get measurements for Jamie for the trellises, the smaller trellises today. Some of you may be asking, you may or may not be asking, why haven't we done any of the returns? Reason we've not done any of the returns is, let's say we did a return here, and we, we obviously put it into the wall, we would be then locked in, we wouldn't be able to walk by without having to walk onto the lovely flower bed that we've got going on here. So that's the reason that we haven't locked ourselves in, ain't it, mate? Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna go all the way down and return and then return all the way down with the bays in between. They should, I'm not gonna say easier because you're doing yourself right, but the, the, the premise is, this is what we're gonna try and do. We're gonna put the 6x5 panel in the groove. They're gonna be slightly lifted off the ground as well, guys. We're gonna pull it into the groove at an angle, say here, we're gonna attach the, uh, what do we call them, wall plate, attach the wall plate to it, and then we're gonna sort of like push it into place, because you know what it's like, guys, when you're trying to get a tight fit, you can always push it into place. So we're gonna push it into place, kick it in with the feet where needed, and then screw in, because where the panel fits into the wall plate, you've got enough room to screw either side. A bit like what they've done there. So panel would sit there, we've got enough room to screw either side at a little angle, get it into the bricks, yeah, that's the plan. But I think for us, mate, we've got to start ripping down again, haven't we? Exactly. We've got to start ripping down, so we'll get you on a tripod, and we'll start ripping down. And try, talking tripod, Scott right there, Scott is too hot here, big YouTuber. He's got a tripod set up, look. Let's get it. We've got horns in here, look. I don't, I've no idea how we're gonna get a post down there yet. But, we're gonna do it. I've got a few more of these out, as you can see. Got two posts over here. 
So basically we've got to get one, two, we'll cut these. We'll see if we can get these bad boys out. Obviously we're going to get them out either way, but I may do a couple base first before we get to these, but yeah, that right there. Again, you can't see it until everything's out of the way and now it's out of the way, you can see it and it's like, whew, it's going to be tough. Nothing's tough for us though, is it mate? We're going to smash it. But yeah, we've got this drink to have that's been kindly made and I'm going to get this out. Google said it weren't going to rain. Huh? It's raining. This is a pick me up though, guys. Look at this. It's a last one, last cut. He's earned some toast. <laughs> I'll have this toast, we'll keep cutting and we'll get some bees in. Just spent 20 minutes getting this out because we couldn't go seven foot here to there because then this one's too small and that one's massive. It just won't be fair and wouldn't look right. So at least we've got our hole now, mate, yeah? That's it. Fair play. One inch above the level. So all of those are matching, so that's what we're doing guys. You got one in? Yes mate, it just needs compaction. Remember guys, don't be shy with your water. 
Get good it level, man. all good mate. Compaction, water. Make sure you're good to go guys. This one's took a little bit longer than I would have liked, but sometimes it's like that I guess. Just okay for the drain pipe. You can see it on the camera there. You see that drain pipe there guys, we're just okay. We just missed it on the left hand side of it, which is what we wanted. Rather than going here, being a foot over into this garden, it had just made this garden so small in comparison, I just didn't think it was fair. The slab's coming out guys, we need to get it out of the way. We can't take the decking out of the way, but we can take the slab out of the way. And we're gonna have a retainer with the gravel board anyway. So yeah, it's got to come out of the way, but I just need this decking board out of the way. You see where it's catching as it lifts up. So we need to get that out of the way and crack it on. So we've got one slab out, well, sort of anyway, it's over there. We're gonna cut this off, because our post is going sort of here, just over. So we're going to saw this off and our post is going just there and we might just be able to cut this off below ground so the guys can get a decking board or something along there and just leave it in there because it's not hurting anyone. Of course we've got to get rid of that concrete haunching but we'll figure out how to do that once we get this out of the way. So we'll get this out of the way and a hole dug somewhere like this. No hole but we do have a freeway post in there. This bay is slightly shorter. We've gone as far over as we can in between the lights without taking too much of this customer's garden. The reason we've gone there is we're trying to make it work so the next two posts can go one there, one there. We can't put a corner post in here. We've got to have two inches because of the angle, guys. I have no idea how I'm going to do this yet. I have no idea, but we're going to get to it. But have a look at this. Are we getting looked after too well, mate? Too well. Look. Too well. We've got faggots. We've got carrots, peas, mash, swede. We've had two cups of teas to go with this as well. We're getting looked after way too well. One thing for sure on this job, we are getting looked after like crazy. He did say he was going to try and save two puddings. I don't know what they are. I did see someone walk past with a trifle. But we'll let you know but we're gonna enjoy this and then crack on guys rhubarb and custard as well so then, it's going to be tough around here. This bad boy's got to come out. Spoke to customer. Plan is to run down here, step out with the post again. And then well, obviously we've got to go at the side of the decking. We can't go into the decking like that. So we're going to run down, put our post somewhere, say where this slab is here, at a slight angle. And then there'll be a little panel just in here 
just to fill in this gap. It will be on the decking. So it's only a little one, around about sort of that big. We're gonna see if we have to leave these slabs in if we can, because they're, they're running relatively level. This one here though is a pain at the minute. So we're gonna steel saw from there down and across just to take this section out because we need a post here and here. So a bit of concrete in there after if needed, that's not a problem. But this one is a pain. It's all formed in together and we really do need this post out. So we're just grabbing a seven foot post now, guys. I don't know if we've actually shown you the walk that we've got to do. So we're gonna pick it up and we're gonna show you. Hey. I am ready. Let's get the people and let's go big dog. It's a bit squelch, yeah? And we wipe our feet as best we can. We've been told that the carpet's being changed, so not to worry about it too much, but we'll have to go through the hedgehog lounge. And then we'll go in. Residents aren't in that bit, by the way, but yeah. This is where we're walking, guys. <sighs> Lovely though, isn't it? All the way to the end. Just linear then, isn't it? Yeah, it all ties in together. Yeah. Yeah. Plan now, guys. Post right there. Boom. Post is in. And it's dark. Currently 4.21. And that's me and Scott. All done. We'll see you tomorrow. Let's go and see what my dad and Finn have been doing all day. Good morning. It's another day at Vlogmas. It's me. It's Jordan. We're taking... Jordan's wagon up to Moose Cranham uh, Plant and Cranham Plant. And it's an early one, guys. We've got to get it up there so George start his day. Then he's on Big Red and then he's on Mighty White. And hopefully we should get the crane back Wednesday, fingers crossed. But yeah, it's an early one. I'm going to follow Jordan up there, bring him back, probably get a Greg's on the way back, refuel. It's been raining all night. It's been to stop about eight o'clock today, but the lean, super high. It is really, really high. So yeah, it's gonna be an interesting one today. Really it is. Because Jordan started early and all, he's gonna run out of driver's hours as well. So he'll probably be finished a bit earlier. But it is what it is, he's gotta take it up there. I mean, I could have drove it up to be fair. If he hadn't put his card in already, but yeah. Let's get this wagon up where it needs to be and start our day. So here we are guys, just dropped our wagon off there. Hopefully these guys can sort it out. Now it's back to Nottingham, we go. So it's now daylight. Back, me and Jordan grabbed the Gregs for everyone on the way back. Look at that little fella. Uh, he's been setting the alarms off, uh, D and J. It's a feisty one. So what we're gonna do, there's a bit of a field here behind us. Just gonna release him, catch and release. He's away from the unit, big open field. There's a big one. So here we go. So it's foggy, it's wet. Let's have a look at these holes. Oh, that's not bad. Not bad at all. We have a little bit of a collapse around there. We'll soon sort that out. At least we can dig it away now. 
I think what we'll do, we'll do a bit of clearing around the side, let this weather subside a little bit, and then we'll start connecting drains up. First job is get the machines warmed up. So we have the machines all warming up. What we're gonna do, we're gonna shift this big pile of logs here and get them out of the way, take them around the front, then the weather's meant to die back down, about 10 ish it says, so hopefully, and then we'll start doing some drainage work. I don't know what he's doing with that, I don't know if he wants them putting on the pile, but we'll find out. So yeah, let's get them logs on. Yeah, leave it there for a minute. And then I'll bring the machine round and we'll start grabbing. Today Jordan's just rang me a grab he has done, but not paid. So what we've done, we've grabbed it and the customer has not paid. Well, the trader has not paid and he says he can get it all on for £220. And Jordan says not a chance. So there's about 25 ton there. We've knocked on the customer's door. The customer says no, uh, this Richard who says I can get rid of it all for that. Like I say, 25 ton there. So now, Jordan's gonna take the stuff back, drop it back in the drive. He spoke to the customer, the homeowner, and he said, yeah, no problem, just drop it back. Just make sure it goes back in the same spot. And we're gonna drop it there. But, this guy doesn't know, I've just rang round all my grab mates, which is a close knit community, which we all know each other, and told them to stop away from it because it's all clay and stuff anyway, which costs quite a bit to get rid of because we have to run it right out to Mansfield Way. So we have lost, yes, we've lost fuel, we've lost time, but hopefully it'll lose in the long run because it's just messed us about. So yeah, you might say, oh, I'll get money up front. It's not always possible to get money up front, but from now on, we, if this Richard does want to grab again, they're not getting it from us. And they're not getting it from any of the people I know. They're not getting it from, anyone Jordan knows, because Jordan knows a few as well. So yeah, we've had a quick rim round and we've sorted that. But that's my little moan done. We are just putting this concrete in the dumper now. I'm going to put it in that top corner over there. I think James has done his coffee somewhere. So we'll get this grabbed, fill the dumper up and then we'll have a coffee. I had a customer yesterday. I didn't want to pay after I took his load. So I'm dumping it all back. You probably have to be a bit closer now, mate. That's it, come forward there. If you can't find it, don't grind it. If you can't find it, grind it. Oh, I stalled it, though. Straighten up a little bit. Yeah, they'll do. You'll get the hang of it, mate. Come on, I'll get these. You get them small bits from behind me.
Got to be ready that one, mate. You have to try and oh. don't go in the same tracks all the time. And you might I think he's gonna make a mess anyway, but try not to go in the same tracks. James had done a coffer. No. Hey? No, I didn't see that. It said. Yes, you did. What, what did I say? I think James has done a coffer. No, I said I think you need a coffer. I think James needs to do a coffer. Oh. What, because of, because of what's happened? Yeah. Oh. The thing's going to take that one now. Uh, Got a few more bits to grab. I think we'll get rid of them logs at the top of the garden. Uh, find out what James wants to do with all that wood there. And then I'll get the rake on, drag it all around, get rid of the shed, and then we'll start doing that drainage because it's clearing up quite nice actually. It really is. giving the uh, boom a quick grease and we'll be back in action again we've done quite a bit cleared quite a bit sorted through got this pile of air tape around the front then we're going to get all these bits of wood and that get rid of them that big piece of wood going to put down there got all these stumps a bit more rocker hardcore to get rid of so there's plenty to go at and then we'll pull this apart see what's in here get rid of this bush nearly flattened it all then more progress Things making a mess, sinking down. It used to be a pond there, so I think there's still water draining in there, and he's pushing it down. I believe Jordan is here. I can hear the grab. Yeah, Jordan's here. He's doing a grab for us, grabbing some. That's the only thing with dumpers; they churn it all up. It's coming now, look. nice big pile of concrete logs and Jordan's getting rid of that just starting to get dark now let's say there's looking nice and clear on the camera it's that to do tomorrow drainage that stretch there all the way down and round let's go and have a look see what Jordan has cleared so Jordan's cleared that bit in front of me now just purely so thin can come down this way i think what i'm gonna have to do is drag some of that hardcore down here this is all gonna be drive anyway so tomorrow we'll drag some of that hardcore down there just fill that that trench so it don't damage the pipe but yeah i think that's another day at dnj we'll see you in the morning mm -hmm.